Yo, what's good, Griff13 here back in the day. And today, guys, we are here for Forzathon number 74, trudging through, put on your winter gear. And as you guys see on your screen right now, one of the challenges is already complete. <laughs> because I was in the middle of completing this challenge, and someone decided that they were going to come in and ruin the entire video, ruin all the fun for everyone else. And they, they were coming in here being very derogatory towards a certain group, and it's just like... Dude, I asked him just don't just refrain from that kind of language in the live streams. And you know, he, he ended up leaving the party, but then he came back and I had put a mute on him and he had told everyone else in the party that he wanted to apologize for his actions. So I unmuted him and then he decided that he was going to go on an extreme rant with his derogatory words. And it's just, I, I ain't going to put up with it, guys. If you guys want to, I mean, I want to have this open party. I want to be there to discuss things with you. I mean, that's what makes this sort of deal fun, but if people start doing this sort of crap, it, it's it's not cool, and we'll have to end it all. So, I, I mean, it's just, it's not cool, and I'm not going to, like, you know, punish all you guys for one person's actions, because I know not everyone's like that. I have one rule, one rule in life, and that is don't be a dick. <laughs> all right, that is my one rule. Like, a lot of the world's problems could be solved just by following the rule don't be a dick. World hunger? Give a homeless man a sandwich. Don't be a dick. Uh, taxes. Or, I don't know, healthcare. I, it's just a whole bunch of things. We're not going to get super political, but that's what I'm getting at. So anyway, though, we are going to redo the challenge because it was a fun challenge, though. So let's go ahead and take a look at the challenges for this week. So first of all, we have is we have bugging out. Create a bucket list challenge in Yara Valley or Blizzard Mountain with a buggy to earn 35,000 experience. Then we got this can go faster, perform 20 speed skills in a buggy to win three wheel spins. Then we have tubed frame, win a race in a Hot Wheels rip rod or a Lumacraft class 10 race car to win the Gurkha LAPV. Then finally what we have is we have wrecking all the way, ha ha ha, perform 35 <laughs> wreckage skills in a buggy to win 25,000 credits. So. The Gurkha, though, I think that's what everybody's after this week. So what we're going to do is we're going to redo our little challenge here because, honestly, it was a hell of a lot of fun. It was really close. We almost didn't pass it. That's how close it was. So what we need to do is we need to come over here to create a new bucket list challenge. And what we were doing is we did damage control. And I'm going to go ahead and set this all the way. Oh, man. Where's a... Hmm... <laughs> where to go where to go because I know before what we did is we just went over here to the snow park and I kind of want to go farther than that uh, but we barely made it there so what I'm thinking is we just go ahead and set it to there I want to put some light snow on traffic on rewind on lock the camera sure yep no music because you guys already know we ain't about ready to go get no copyright strikes mm. all right so here we go here we go here we go here we go wait Kerr, yep. have you, um, that's the reason why you're not live streaming anymore because you got, um, a strike already and you can't live stream for six months? No, the reason I don't live stream anymore is because my internet is such booty, 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 oh. booty garbage that I, it's just not even, like, worth it. It's like, oh my god, we, like, live streaming for me because of how terrible my internet is, it's like, I can do it in 440p and that's about it. And I don't want, I don't feel right asking people you know hey come out watch this live stream that is basically you know mm, it's going to be pretty bad quality so the only way that you guys are actually going to get anything out of it is if you watch uh my higher quality video recording that i put out later on and i i, I just don't feel right asking people to do that that just it just don't feel right you know so I'm that, not, that's why i stopped no live offense. streaming no offense kind of lost me there but i kind of see it now <laughs> Yeah, I've got terrible internet. It felt it, it felt wrong to ask people, hey, can you guys still, you know, come out and watch these live streams? Even though literally I can't do an actually good live stream because my internet's so bad. Oh, that time we made it up the hill. Last time we couldn't make it up that hill. We actually ended up uh, falling flat on our faces and ended up damaging our car so much that it was just it was just ridiculous. Oh my god. Yeah, nice little Oh, handbrake turn there. Mm. 
Nothing gets them panties dropping like a well-executed handbrake turn. <laughs> oh, Jesus, guys. Don't don't ever actually think that. That is, that is completely and utterly wrong. <laughs> Uh, but who's been watching the new Grand Tour? Because honestly, I I have not gotten able to see any of the new episodes yet because I don't have Amazon Prime. However, though, my little brother has Amazon Prime, so I'm trying to get a uh, trying to get his Amazon Prime account so I can uh, so I can watch the Grand Tour. Oh, actually, I'm not even sure though if he has the uh, the video streaming service because I feel like he has the studio um, one, uh, and I, I'm not sure if that actually includes um, video streaming. Sure. If you have Prime, you have video service. Yeah, but his Prime is the student. It's Prime Student, which I think might only include free shipping and some other things. So, no, there we go, though. I, I also I checked the student out already and some um, free TV shows and music. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh. with the you know, Prime thing. Gur. Yep. Are you going to do post thon Ooh, I haven't no, done a post towards thon to. in a while. I don't know. Because right. you put cousins on. <laughs> Guys, I knew I I know I just spelled through, but the only reason I uh I misspelled through there is because uh it won't take woods if I don't <laughs> over the river and through <laughs> the woods <laughs> oh yes that's a that that's a title right there for a Christmassy theme oh all right so there we go we are gonna publish that bucket list would you like to share this with friends no not right now if they want to they can find it themselves so we've already done it so I'm not gonna go ahead and do that we already finished up our first challenge so basically, that was just a rewind of what we already did. Except last time, we completely screwed things up. Like, we we tried to go over that hill, and we just ended up like, oh, man, we couldn't go any farther. I'm, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry for hitting your buggy, your Polaris Razor right there, which, oh, my gosh, guys. It, it, it's, I, I'm actually kind of, uh. it, it, it's crazy. It's crazy right now, because somebody... Uh, at my office, you know, they had a Polaris Ranger, not not the Razor. They were using one of their Rangers. They had some other thing that they were doing later on. Somebody stole it from the office parking lot, and it's like, what? What is going on? Why would somebody do that? Like they they just took the trailer and the and the Ranger. So now no one knows where it is. Luckily, you know, it's insured and everything. But it's like, man, that sucks. That sucks. So it's just it's just one of those things. Now it's not a guy that I actually work with, but it was just here in town. Somebody had actually just you know stole this guy's Polaris Ranger from his office parking lot, and it's like, what? Why? Why would you do that? That that's so expensive. Like it was a Ranger and the trailer. It's like oh oh that sucks. That sucks so bad. Oh, I feel bad for that guy. But anyway, though, let's go ahead and look at our next challenge that we got coming up here. So we need to perform. Ah, we'll, we'll, we'll hold off on the speed skills. We can do those at any time. Win a race in the Hot Wheels Rip Rod to win the Gurkha LAPV. So here we go. Let's go ahead and find ourselves a race to do. Hmm. So we got an off-road race right here. Let's just go ahead and fast travel to it. If we haven't done the championship yet on it, Maybe I'll start it, or maybe we'll just do it for shits and giggles. Holy crap, bear! That's a oh man, don't. That is what I Sorry. use as my like alarm clock in the morning. So like literally just hearing that is like oh my god, am I asleep? Just no. Uses my um. Inside my phone, thing libraries. See that that's Why that's my alarm clock. Tone. That is my alarm clock. <laughs> so uh we're gonna go anything goes A class and we've got our buggy, so hopefully we'll be able to go ahead and pull off a victory here because it's in the yeah, snow. I'm gonna show you what's my alarm clock. What? <laughs> Let me show you my alarm clock. Where's um
Where is the money? Thing? Well, if you guys heard about the brand new alarm clock, though, apparently uh, Amazon's Alexa has a Top Gear, or not Top Gear, a Grand Tour themed alarm clock where basically uh, they, they start telling you to get up and good morning. And then James was just like, well, what if it's afternoon? Like, what if he was taking an afternoon nap? And Richard comes in and he says, the only people that take an afternoon nap are cats and you, James. <laughs> just They just go on this little rant. It's like, oh, my God, that's that is awesome. Okay, it's like, Edgar. what? I got to play it now. All right. Play, 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 play your. Uh... Okay. Yep. Taps. All that right. wakes me up for some, for some reason. <laughs> That's but, uh, like, to play. I get it. just, just imagine being woken up by Jeremy Clarkson, Richard Hammond, and James May every morning. I want that. <laughs> so, just. How much is it? I'm gonna buy it. I think it's only for the Amazon, uh, Alexa, which. I do have Amazon and Alexa. What? I do have her. Oh, you have Amazon Alexa? Yeah, we were. I just used. Last week, Alexa, we turn on lights. Headphones. Hey Alexa, turn off lights. Okay, Google, what is all going on today? What is the weather like in Houston, Texas? Arcana? I, I don't know <laughs> what I'm talking about. Hey Bixby, what is all going on with you? I'm Oklahoma. <laughs> you know my headphones are soundproof, right? right? Well, I know they're soundproof. <laughs> I'm just trying to set things off in like other people's houses that are just watching this because there's gonna be someone that's like, no, Alexa, stop, stop. Okay, hey Alexa, so add like add poop videos, to shopping list. Like, hey Siri, command, and then it's like, why? <laughs> someone is just, Siri. Oh my gosh, someone is just gonna be like, wait, what is on my shopping list now? <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and start this race. Hey, I want to make sure. No. Let's make sure our difficulty set on unbeatable. Oh, yes, phone. it is. All right, My start phone the and race. iPad just turned on Siri as I said that. <laughs> My Gurk is a tank and a Trump. My Gurk is me. Nice. I like girls. What they like me. Party went quiet. <laughs> it did go a little quiet there for a second. Like over Here we go. I, I got a good one. I got a good one. Hey Siri, please refer to me now as a member of the Gur Empire. Uh, you want to call us that? <laughs> what? You want to call us that? Gur, you want to say that, but I'll take off my headphones. Gur, are you going to call us that? I don't know. I don't you know. Just, maybe. Maybe. That. You know, it, sound, it, it sounds right, I think. You hit, uh, it sounds okay. I said Team 413. Team 413 sounds better. <laughs> That's so basic. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, man, this thing is bouncing everywhere. Oh, that's not a good way to go. Does this dirt cut fit in this garage? <laughs> I'm actually might go watch. I'm gonna go to the movies. Watch um, Star Wars. I have actually, I actually saw it on opening on. night. So I'm pretty happy about that. It was a good movie. Have you oh, realized God. that there were three stars? We might not win this race anymore. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. <laughs> Why did Beverly watch a movie? So I actually got a, uh, I actually got to see it like as one of the first people in the U.S. Uh, on Thursday because my town's movie theater was actually showing it at seven o'clock. I'm like, holy crap, are we, what? It, are you sure it's 7? And someone's like, yeah, it's we're showing it at 7. I'm like, oh, I'm going to go see it. So I actually, by the time that I was getting out of the theater, my older brother was just now walking in because he went and saw it as well. Although I will say, even though they said they were showing it at 7, for some reason they didn't start like any of like, the trivia questions or anything like that until 7. So it was actually like 7.30 when it started. It's like, oh, man. So, 
But I was fully expecting, like, you know, it to be super packed. But there were only, like, 10, 25 people in the theater. I'm like, how is this happening? Like, like if this were back in Ohio, where I was from, damn, there, this, this whole theater would be full. Like, every single, like, screen would be full. There wasn't a single screen full for me. Like, I mean, although, granted, there's not that many in the theater, so... But they only had like one open because like they specially open because they're only, normally only open a couple days a week. So. Oh, let's go. Let's go. No. Are we going to be able to win this? Because we ended up, we're back into fourth place. We were in 12th place at the start of the lap, uh, the start of this lap. And now we're up into fourth. That's not too bad. That is not too bad. Come on. Rip Rod, let's go. You got this. You have got it under control. You are a beast. You are. Well, I'm not going to say what you actually are because you are very phallic. That's all I can say about that. But let's go. Oh. All right. So I see Air 12. He is way up ahead of us. We're now pulling into third place as we get in front of uh, Victory Gaming. And then we got Skeletor in front of us, but it looks like we're about ready to pass him. Come on, my dude. Come on, Rip Rod. Oh. Everybody left the party. Everybody left the party? What? Now there's only four people. Well, one of the people who Don't left the party was, you know, kind of being a duke, as we talked about here at the beginning. And honestly, there were only like six yep. people to start, so I mean, one person leaving the party is not that. Yeah, I mean, like they weren't even talking. I don't think, unless it was Bear. I don't know if Bear actually left. Yeah, or Bear not. left. He did. Bear did. Leave. There's the finish line, and we got first place in I'm the Rip Rod. That's insane. That is insane, right there. How did we do that? One twenty-four. Oh, that is amazing right there. That is, that is glorious. That is glorious. We went ahead, we beat our race, and we're able to pull off a victory in the Rip Rod. Going from first to 12th, back to first. That's, that's, that's great. I, I'm that actually work? really, really shocked about that. That was, that was a good race. So that should give us our Gurkha LAPV right now. Let's see it on the screen. Audi's online. Ah! Audi's on? Hmm. We'll see if he joins. He just came online. Yeah, he was he was offline earlier, so if he wants to join, he can join. So we just got our Gurkha, which ain't too bad. And now all we gotta do is we gotta perform 20 speed skills. And then 35 wreckage skills. So we should probably just, you know, drive around Blizzard Mountain, have a little bit of a talk, see what everyone's up to. Run some black eyes. What? Go on black eyes. I I'm on just regular eyes. Hey, I'm not girl, on black eyes. What do you think? You, at this time, what do you think would be best to buy, Blizzard Mountain or Hot Wheels? To buy. Well. Right now, if anyone was going to get one, in my honest opinion, right now, I would say Blizzard Mountain. But that's just because right now it's winter and maybe, you know, driving around in the snow will be a little bit more fun. It'll be like what you're doing outside. It's more, uh... I don't have snow. Well, la-dee-da! Alright, uh, I, I'm just getting at that because it's like, you know, it's kind of Christmassy, you know, there's, there's some snow. Oh, we just got our Wrecking All The Way skill. Uh, so, that one happened a lot sooner than I thought we were actually going to happen. Oh, got some awesome so air. So, if I were to buy one, you would, you would say Blizzard Mountain? I would say Blizzard Mountain right now. Uh, Hot Wheels is fun, though, as well. I, honestly, out of the two, I think right now blizzard mountain would be it but maybe like during the summer hot wheels would be better than blizzard mountain because blizzard mountain it's just it just feels a little bit more festive right now due to the fact that you know it's december we got christmas around the corner you know that that's really what i'm getting at there so ooh. 
is victory again. Come on, we need I to jumped get some... over five cars from behind with the Gurkha. How does that work? I don't know. How does it work? Amazing. Oh yeah, I got a new road. Alright, so what we're trying to do right now is we are trying to get our speed skills, because that's all we got left. We just need 20 speed skills. Granted, this buggy ain't all that fast. I'm wondering if we got a faster buggy back at the back in the garage. Hmm. I just used a class 10. Hold on a second. Is there a... Wait... What? What is this? There's a Hot Wheels fast travel from Blizzard Mountain? Oh, it's just in the middle of the road cuz like the uh, the Byron Bay one, I feel like it's got like it's all, it's got like a little helicopter landing where the uh, the Hot Wheels ones uh well, I mean, it's it's just in the middle of the road. Let's go let's go check out the Byron Bay section right here. I'm I'm curious about this all of a sudden. But yeah, you see it's got a little helicopter pad. Why doesn't Hot Wheels get a little helicopter pad, though, my dude? Come on! But that's being racist towards Hot Wheels. Actually, I don't even know Wait, what, what it would actually be like. Chorus. Yeah, Hot Wheels should be the one with the helipad. Because Hot Wheels is on another island. Yeah, right? Well, well, Blizzard Mountain's on a... No, Blizzard Mountain's just up in the mountains, I think. I don't think it's actually an island, yeah, per se. Is. So let's see here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at some of my buggies really quickly. So, filter this out to buggies, which of course is the last one at the bottom of the list. Buggies. You know, girl, you know Doomsday Heist is out. I do know Doomsday Heist is out. I'm going for Criminal Mastermind, because I've done it normally with our tricks already. So, I think we're going to go with Criminal mm. Mastermind. Give it a shot. Well, good luck, man. Not good luck. Alright, what, what buggy is the fastest? So you were saying the, uh, hmm, the Illumicraft Class 10, is that faster? No, I don't think that's got a whole lot of, uh, engine upgrades. Let's try the, uh, the Aerial Nomad. We're gonna go ahead and check this out, see if it is just a little bit faster so that we can get these speed skills that much quicker. So we're gonna go here into tuning. I'm just gonna go ahead and find a tune. Let's see, load setup. Let's see if anybody's got, like, an S class or, oh, shoot, there's S2 classes in here. My dude, come on. Give me like an S1-900. Uh, yeah, we'll take that one. That's going to give us a lot more speed. Hot, hot damn. All right, going to go ahead and buy that. 55,000 credits. So basically all the money that we're going to get from this, uh, we just spent to upgrade this car to an S1. Holy crap. Why did we do that? Why did we do that? All right, so here we go. We're going to back on out of here. Hopefully, this will get us our speed skills just a little bit faster. Oh, oh my god. Ow, 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 ow. Woo. Oh, Jesus, guys. Jesus, guys. All right. So, like I said again, guys, uh, I may be able to record pre ahead of time next week's Forza Thon and the Forza Thon after that because, unfortunately, I am going to be out of town. And I don't really plan on taking my Xbox. However, though, I might still. I just I just don't know yet. Oh, because there is... It's, it's the Christmas season. Honestly, I do expect there to be quite a bit of uh, news, which has got me thinking maybe I should take it. Because we might actually see some information about a new DLC coming out for Force Motorsport 7. Uh, we did get some information actually just about Need for Speed Payback, which I need to actually go ahead and make a video on here fairly soon. Uh, but man, what is, why is this taking so long? Like, I mean, granted we're not on the highway, we're just on the ice lake, but still. It, it shouldn't take this long, right? Am I right? Come on. I was thinking we could just, you know, cruise around. We get it real quick and easy. Guess not. That's an ultimate error, kangaroo. Speed, drift, drifting. Oh, I'm almost.
was wondering, because would we actually be able to go around the ice lake in a circle and get it to work instead of, you know, just keep having to turn around, you know, just stay above 125 or so? There's a speed skill. Awesome drift, ultimate drift, air drift. Great drift, awesome drift, ultimate drift, air. Give me a speed skill. Give me a speed skill. Oh, there it is! Finally! Finally we get this can go faster achievement. That is what we are looking for, guys. So, anyway, we do got a couple of wheel spins to go. Let us go ahead and roll. Oh, shoot! We got a crap ton of wheel spins. We have seven wheel spins? What the hell? All right, but here we go. First up, we have a C63 AMG Black Series. What did you say? Is that how long it took to get the speed skills that it just gave you seven wheel spins instead? <laughs> I don't know. Like, it took forever. Like, honestly, the speed skills took up, like, 18 minutes. Like, we're at 31 minutes right now. And I think we finished everything else at, like, 18. It's like, what the hell? Why did that take so long? Come on. So we had a chance of winning a Ferrari California T. Unfortunately, we only get 50,000. Next up, we have a chance at a Horizon Edition, the Viper SRT10 ACR. Not really too excited to get that, but instead we do pull up 80,000 credits. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Next up, we have a Land Rover Range Rover Supercharged. Come on, give me something good. Give me something good. Instead, we only get 20,000 credits. Not great, not great. Lamborghini Urus, which guys, have you guys heard about the new Urus? Lamborghini has finally come out and made a Lamborghini Urus SUV that is going to be available to the public for purchase. My dudes, unfortunately, we only pull in four grand instead of actually getting the car itself. But oh, 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 give me that, give me that, give me that. I will take that, I will take that, I will take that. Give us something good. No, unfortunately, we only get 30 grand, not the Ford GT Horizon Edition. Let's see here Jaguar E Type yeah, S. Which one do you think is better? The new Lamborghini Urus SUV or the Tesla Roadster? The new Urus SUV or the Tesla Roadster? The Tesla Roadster by far. I mean, granted, I'm not a big guy on electrics. Like, I don't really like a whole bunch of electric cars. But uh, the the new Tesla Roadster, with the amount of power and amount of speed that it has, there it, it's hands down the winner. And the price, like they're only saying like the first thousand are going to be two hundred grand, and everything after that's going to be two hundred fifty thousand. But uh. For power and speed, similar to a Bugatti Chiron, it's crazy. It's it's it has no competition anymore. That is going to be the best car for the best deal. Or like, it's just when when it comes to hypercars and supercars, if that Tesla model or not that, but if the new Tesla Roadster ends up doing what they say it's going to do, it is going to be the deal of the century. But it is going to cost $200,000, which is insane. So no one, not very many people are going to be able to take advantage of that. But the people that do are going to be very, very happy, I think. They're going to be very, very happy. There's also that Founders, there's also the Founders Edition, which is so much more than the regular. So, but anyway, though, we have just gone ahead and finished up Forza-thon for Forza Horizon 3 for the 74th time. 74 Forzathons, guys. This is this is crazy. This is crazy. Honestly, I think with how bad Motorsport 7 has been doing, like people are really hating on Motorsport 7. I've been seeing a lot more people going back here to Horizon 3 and having a good time. So honestly, it feels like Horizon 3 is still continuing to grow, which I'm honestly shocked at. It just shows you how great this game is. But anyway, though, that's what I'm going to go and wrap it up for today. If you guys want to, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at twitter.com forward slash square 413 and instagram.com forward slash square 413. And as well, if you guys like this video, go and make sure to hit that like button down below for us because you guys already know your support is so greatly appreciated. And make sure to subscribe for more videos coming out all the time. And thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.